this video we're gonna look at some color chords it's like this add nine chord and the sus four and these chords works just as good on the ordinary mandolin I'm now playing on the octave mandolin but I'm also gonna demonstrate it on the small one so here we go some color chords mandolinsecrets.com my name is Magnus Sedlund and I help mandolin players get a richer toolbox so they can experience more musical freedom and if you're new at my channel please subscribe I have new videos like this coming out every week and hey little tip hit that bell notification button and you will get noticed as soon as I publish new video and for Academy members of Mandolin Secrets Academy, you find the tabs and, um, and the MP3 for this song in the members area. So when I'm talking about color chords, I'm talking about this sound of the add nine chord. <laughs> And this can also be related to as a sus2 chord. I don't gonna go into too much of theory in here, but what we're doing is we're adding like the, the second note of the scale or the nine, if you wanna put it that way, into the chord. And the most like simple and obvious way to do the add nine chord is this voicing. This is a D add nine. If you're looking at the sharp here. And then a D minor. And uh, doing a, like an F is like this. This is the F and the add nine. If you're very interested in this add nine sus two thing, uh, that requires a little bit of music theory, and I can also like point out I have a theory course specially designed for intermediate and advanced mandolin players coming up in May 2020. So keep an eye open if you want to learn more about that. But for now, just try to find this uh, like this add nine. F and to do the sus4 we're doing this instead the G note to F and this very colorful chords that you can use to, well, you use them a lot really to spice up these basic triads. So I, I suggest you first learn these basic chord shapes. You can actually play them one after another that I've put down here. The D add 9 to D minor, the F add 9 to F major, and then D sus4 to D minor, F sus4 to F. I play them one after each other, it sounds like this. I can put it in a 3 4 meter. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. I didn't really put like um, I think this is a chords that you should learn if you even if you're a beginner or if you're an intermediate or advanced you can use like you want to use this kind of chords and of course you can like move these chords around <laughs> It 
works anywhere over the fretboard. And uh, I have also this uh, other inversions of the cord that I put down here. And this is the ones that I use for this uh, traditional waltz, Vals at the Lassi Libi. This is a very nice voicing for the add 9 chord. Putting the, my second finger on the B flat, open D string, and then on the third fret here, third finger, and then first finger on the F note. Three, zero, three, one. Compare it to this voicing. Can hear? It's almost the same color to the chord. And then we have up here for the C chord. I can use this sus4 voicing like this. But since I have the the E note the open string I can also like blend these notes together sounds very good you get it so very very nice chords to like give colorful um, texture to, to your chord chord sequences I want to show this on the mandolin as well first the basic voicings very well and for this one you can do them both on octa mandolin and ordinary mandolin yeah that's it so please let me know in the comment section if you like to use this color chords for spicing up your accompaniment and if you like the video hit the thumbs up and i would just want to say thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the new video soon bye for now